This is Geo Air Fiber, which I have used as a secondary WAN connection on my UDM Pro. On the outside, you can see they have placed uh, this uh, Geo Air Fiber on a pole. And how does it works? Like uh, there are Geo 5G towers on the surrounding. So they make a line of sight on that uh, to the tower and it works with the 5G tower and it has an eSIM built on it. So that's why they do configure with the 5G. So everything works on this air fiber is with the 5G network connections. And after they put the geo air fiber outdoor unit to the pole, once they configured it, there is a LAN cable connection. So they have put the LAN cable connection here and they have provided an outdoor cap also like uh, it uh, provides safety from the rains and everything, moistures and everything. So from here the LAN cable, it goes directly down to, to the router gateway and then from router gateway, it is connected to the UDM Pro as a WAN2 if you want to use as a failover or distributed. So this unit is very, I mean, strong as compared to the uh, other devices like uh, it needs only 5G router connections like uh, if you see on the surroundings there are so many 5G towers so it takes connection of that 5G towers and it gives uh, uh, I mean good signal strength and uh, signal to noise ratio is also good according to that they uh, mount it on that place also if you want uh, you can mount on that direction also there is an alignment tool given here so we can align according to that so this is how it will works and later on i will show you how i configured it on the udm pro as a van to distributor or failover so the lan cable from the air fiber which uh, plays outdoor at the top it comes at the bottom here where my rack is mounted and this lan cable goes to the geo geo fiber gateway the router gateway and it is connected at the bottom here and it is also given power with the PO adapter and here you see some LAN and WAN ports so I have connected these ports directly to the UDM Pro WAN port port number 8 here here port number 8 and the port 9 is prim uh, primary WAN and this is the secondary WAN I also can use the port 10 but the port 10 is SFP plus port you just know it no not required so uh, this is the connection I did uh, the van and LAN port from the geo router gateway comes directly to the van port of the UDM uh, Pro which I have configured as a failover or distributed I will show you in a video so the air fiber home gateway router is set up now uh, the engineer from the geo have set up and they gave me the username and password so right now i'm logging to the air fiber gateway router with the router ip address of 192.168.30.1 so this is the dashboard of the gateway the this is the cp utilization memory and the system details the security status the lan status and the van status so when uh, right now if you check into the dashboard device status you will get all the information of your wireless network uh, 2.4 gigahertz frequency and 5 gigahertz so it support uh, 802.11 ax and 802.11 ax on both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz as you can see the status here the device statistics you can check here right now and the client stats so under the networks you can check here the line ip v4 the ip address by default it is set to 192.168.30.1 and you can change that and right now it is set to the dscp server and you even you can set to none if you don't want so this is a pretty straightforward setup even they have a ipv6 address and it's also uh, by default enable and you cannot modify any changes it's given in the under the wireless section they have created one society geo uh, like depending on your uh, society name they have and the uh, 
weird thing is uh, you cannot uh, make uh, any changes i mean you can make any changes on the ssid but you cannot disable the ssid it is by default enable as you can see here you can ex i mean edit it uh, and you can extend it with any other access point but you cannot disable this and here the routing features the routing mode right now it's set to nat and the info routing mode settings cannot be modified but you can create a static route on ipv4 and ipv6 and under the security you can check the firewall rules it's all set to always allow always and you can block that and here is a list of ipv4 firewall rules you can create any rules from here and under the attack checks you can check the specific attack prevention response to ping to van bone status and here the administration you can uh, uh, main take a maintenance diagnose of your router gateway and for if there is an update available or not so you can check this so they have set up and they have given me the IP, uh, i mean the username and password what i did after they have set up